Very good morning. So today I said I will complete the letter writing. And before the in, in previous classes, Madam has completed the other part of the grammar, which is necessary for the examination. And today I am going to just uh, revise you or else uh, retaking of the grammar part from the first prose. Next book call, I look at the page number seven. In page number six, you are having question answers, lengthy question answers, and the RCs. On page number seven, you are having uh, prepositions. So, in first, let's know the definition of the preposition. Then, examples I will give you. It is being mentioned in the first prose, heavenly parasol. Heavenly parasol, parasol, page number seven. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate prepositions. So, let's write first the definition of preposition. Question is definition of preposition with the example. With a defined preposition. So, one second, we can change the question. Define preposition with examples. Question. Define preposition with example. Write down the definition. You have written all the grammar part, maths and heavenly parasol. Just before going to these prepositions, a little definition we will write. A preposition is a word. Preposition is a word or group of words or group of used before a noun used before a noun, comma, pronoun. Okay, we are using preposition. It's a word or it's a group of words, a set of words. Where you are using? You are using before a noun or pronoun or noun noun phrase noun phrase to show direction. Why do you use? Why do you use this preposition? To show direction. To show direction. Comma. But only one direction. To show direction. Time. Location. Location. Relationships, relationship, or to introduce, or to introduce, or to introduce an object, or to introduce an object. Some examples. So this is the definition. What is preposition? Or else a defined preposition with examples. Preposition, it's a word or a group of words or set of words. It is used before noun, pronoun, or non-phrase. Again, in the phrase, again it comes under different definition of a phrase is phrase in the class comes different. So it's a sentence. It's a sentence. Without verb. So, phrase and sentence without verb. A small sentence. So, non-phrase. Why do you use this preposition? 
to show direction, to show the time, to show the location, or else to tell a relationship between uh, two persons. What is that? Or to introduce any object or anything. So you can use this preposition all, in all these. Example. 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 Okay, example of it, I'll give you some words. In at many are there, few are you on off and two. These are the few examples I gave you. Now let's go for the now let's go for the uh, you write it down. I'll just go to the page number seven. First fill in the blank. Again, I'll revise this. You need to write. It's been already given for you. Even then, we'll do it once again for the exam. Grammar part is important for the examination. So, uh, exercise one. Shamu was caught dash the tree. So under down below. The answers have been given in the bracket. Given in the bracket, you need to choose the appropriate one and write down. The words which have been given in the bracket all are prepositions. All are prepositions. Whereas in the example I gave you only two three, but here you can study under, down, below, above, over, to, for, of. From which is being given, which are being given in the brackets all come under prepositions. I just revise it once. I write it. You please carry on or else you read it or else write it in your own notebook so that you can study for the examination. First one. Due to the report. Due to having rain of a huge tree plants, the huge tree has dash and 
unfortunately, unfortunately, Shamo was caught. Caught dash. So, in the bracket under down below. So, these are all the prepositions which the answer have been written in the one. So, due to heavy rainfall, the huge tree fell down. Okay, tree fell down. Unfortunately, Shamu was caught up under the tree. It's not below under the tree. So please write it down. Two, two times or else three times you need to write and you need to read it for the examination. Second one. There is a Blue us dash us over God, sorry above over. So that's the there is a roof over us over. So answer. I bought a gift. I bought a gift. Dash. My brother. My brother. Preposition to for. Here yeah, you are showing a relationship. Here yeah, you are showing that direction. Here yeah, also I show you showing the direction. Okay. And here you are showing the relationship between I and the brother. I may be a girl or a boy, and the relationship is between these two is a brother and sister or brother and brother. So the answer is for my brother. She took leave. She took leave. Her office. Off from. Off from. Here we are showing. Here the preposition showing place. So she tell the girl, she took leave. She took leave casually or secretly when she conducted leave. She took from where she placed it. Okay. So from the answer is from her office. Office her place. From there she took one day leave. So here uh, the sentence is showing about the place. Next to this one, they climbed they climbed dash the stairs, dash the stairs, they climbed dash the stairs, comma, went went dash the turrets went dash the turrets to have a meal to have a meal to have a meal of the stars of the star 
the red side. The answer on up above. On up above. You need to choose the appropriate answer from these three. They climb. They plural. Are many a children or else boys or else girls or else some men. Climb the dash, the stairs, steps. Went dash terrace upstairs. They went to have a view. So here also you are showing the direction where the person or else the individuals or else the people are going. Star studied uh, sky to look at that sky trace. So please write it down. So here we can write the meaning of the word studded. Star studded sky. Studded means decorated. Okay. So the sky is decorated completely with the stars. So the people, so answer you write down. Uh, climb up. On terrace, on terrace. Please write down. This is all the grammar part. Come for the preparatory examination. So, please study well. Sixth one. I have to go to a meeting. to go to meeting dash 12.30 p.m. Here it on. 
So here they are showing the time of the sentence. I have to go to a meeting. Get what time you are going? So they are showing the time. So the answer is eight. Seven one. Eight right. Help, help. When the boy can. When the boy can. Dash the well. Dash the well. Dash the well. Now you can write the answer in the bracket down. Into down into. So I cry. A person is crying, or as a person cried, help help for what? When the boy cried, dash the well. So here you are showing the direction. Answer is into the into the well. Into the well. Okay. Shika travels. Shika is the name of a girl travels. Shika travels from Dash Chandigarh. Dash Delhi. Okay. Shika travels. Dash Chandigarh dash every week. Good one. On wrong. So here you are showing the direction. Okay. So she travels. Two places have been mentioned from Chandigarh to Delhi every week. So, this is the answer. Right one. My sister's wedding. My sister's wedding. My sister's wedding. Is dash hotel Raj. Hotel Raj dash Mumbai. Mumbai. Okay, Mumbai finish. So you are showing the direction. Sorry, uh, not direction, place. Okay, where the uh, occasion is going to happen or is going to take. So then we are mentioning the time. We are uh, answer in on uh, at. Choose the right answer. So my sister's wedding is at. Is at. Hotel Taj when sorry in Mumbai. So the tenth one Shisham took an express bus to Mysore. Shisham took an express bus. Which goes, which goes dash dash Madhya.
dash Monday. So the answer by through. By through. Okay. So here we are showing the direction of the bus from where it goes to reach one more place. So he, Shashank, took an express bus to Mysore to go to Mysore and that bus is going through the through the pandemic. So the answer is through. So all these answers and extra answers which have been given in the bracket all come under the preposition. And basically I use in these prepositions to show a time, direction, place and the relationship. So we have done it. Please carry on. Write it down. If some children haven't written in their class of parents in their textbook, please write it down and give you a five minutes time. Later on, we'll go to the next bit. Grammar bits are very important. Grammar bits are very important because choose the right answer, it may come in that bit. So, you need to write the, uh, you need to remember the answers to choose appropriate answers and tick in the uh, your cell to get the correct, to get the, uh, to score the marks properly. So preposition part is done. One more bit we will take. Answer is there in the first bit rows. Make them for. So in the next class I am going to uh, explain and give. We'll go to the next bit. That is, choose the, choose the appropriate specialists given below in bracket for the following elements. Take the help of a dictionary. So here 10 are there and the 10 answers have been given uh, applied in the bracket. First one is uh, gynecologist, pediatrician, vestirician, dermatologist, ophthalmologist, cardiologist, all are specialists in the medicine field, psychiatrist, psychologist, and orthopedician, and the last one is physiotherapist. So all uh, come under the special for the special treatment for the ailment in the medical field. So.
So let's go and write the answers. You have written already, but if you revise it properly, make up for the examination so that you could do it well. First one, Sheila has got white patches. Sheila has got white patches. One must be. On her skin. For what? She needs to consult. She needs to consult a dash. You need to choose the above answers. One. First one is, sorry, the answer is dermatologist. The macrologist, one who treats or is one who uh, diagnoses the problems, one who diagnoses the problems uh, of the skin diseases is called a dermatologist, not the doctor, is doctor, but this. A uh, special name is the vitalist. One who treats or diagnoses the tooth decay or is a tooth pain is also a doctor, but he is not called as a doctor, he is called as a dentist. Like that, it's being called as a dermatologist. He is a skin specialist. Second one, Rila cannot. Priya does see the letters on the board. Letters on the board. Full point. She has to see and full point. She has to. For the eyesight problem, we are cannot see the letters on the board. He is called as the ophthalmologist. Write down the answer. Spelling word wrong here. Ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. A O P T H A L M O A L M O G I S T. T. One who he will treat. He will. He is a specialist in the branch of medicine concerned with the study of a study and treatment of disorders and diseases of the eye. Understand? Ophthalmologist. Disorders and diseases concerned to the eye 
He is called ophthalmologist. He will give a treatment for the eyesight problem and eyes. So the third one. The child is suffering from fever. Child is suffering from fever. Child suffering like a fever, whatever the diseases, doctor is called as a pediatrician. Fourth one. Fourth one. Kiran fell from the cycle. Kiran fell from the cycle and broke his broke his bones. Broke his what injured? Got injured. Rash, sorry, the full point. He immediately consulted and he immediately immediately. Students are stressed because of their exams. They should have a session with they should have session They should have a session with 
a dash. The answer is psychologist. The answer is psychologist. One who studies the psychologist is also a doctor. One who studies the uh, mental illness of the patient. Mental illness of the patient. We study the condition if the person or the patient is under depression and uh, he will study the mind so that he will come out of that uh, problem. Six point. My grandfather had a pain in the chest. My grandfather had a pain in the chest. So, what to do? We took him to a To a doctor. He is called as what? Cardiologist. Cardiologist. One who gives treatment for the heart is called as a cardiologist. C A R D I O L O G I S T. So the remaining specialists names and a few points regarding the answers which is being given in the bracket as the same pronunciation. So we will go tomorrow and if possible I will explain a passage which is being given on the page number 9 you will get reading activity even some preferences also may come for the examinations from the passage and passage also come for the examinations. That's why we must be prepared for exam. Uh, read the following passage and answer the questions that follow. That Alexander uh, Fleming is a man. About that man we, will, we are going to study in this passage. Uh, remaining from 6 to 10 and fill the balance with the appropriate words choose from the brackets and the passage tomorrow we are going to study. So till then I request every student to complete notes, even homework. We have given uh, uh, five or six homeworks hardly. And uh, I request everybody to go through the grammar once again because grammar which will come about 20 marks hardly. That's why grammar part is very important. Even then you get uh, answers over there. You need to take a correct answer. But that also is very important to remember the particular answer. So I just everyone to go through thoroughly for the uh, grammar part especially and the prepare well for the examinations. Till then, study well, take care, have a good day. Thank you.